the Buxter. First launched in late 1996 and the first Porsche designed from scratch as a roadster. 13 years on and it is even more gorgeous to look at with this facelift to the second generation model. Isn't it just fantastic to bask in the light of a, a brand new day in the SM motoring industry? What do you mean? Porsche is opening a... Hey, you said Porsche! <laughs> you said Porsche, I don't believe it. <laughs> I did. Neanderthal man is evolving, eh? <laughs> and so is the new box targets. Indeed, and that's actually why we're here. We are uh, at the new Porsche dealership in Umschlange. It's just opened, 65 million rand they've spent on it, more than 6,000 square meters. And uh, of course, they've got two new cars in the lineup to film with the new Cayman, the new Boxster. Now, we of course love the limited edition Cayman S on ignition. <laughs> Feature that later on the show, but uh, today, looking at Lindsay's hair, we decided to need a bit of a, a hairdresser trip, and uh, the Boxster is the ultimate hairdresser's car, is it not? That is so rude, A. Eh? <laughs> and B, Porsche is actually trying to get rid of that whole hairdresser image uh, that the Boxster's got, and I think they've, they've done a good job with the, I mean, the styling's different, a bit more squat, but more aggressive, and uh, also obviously the engine's been upgraded to a, a 3.4 litre, so better. And it's got PDK. And it's got PDK. Which means Styling Porsche on the outside, clutch. It, it looks different. Shh. Shh. It looks different on the outside. It's more squat. It's definitely got more personality. So do you reckon you could uh, you could live in a Boxster? Sure. The name Boxster is a combination of the terms Roadster and Boxer, referring to that horizontally opposed or Boxer engine under the skin. It's a combination that works like clockwork in this new iteration of the Boxster S. The flat six offers a low center of gravity that keeps the box to balance and offsets vibration. The box has been sitting with a bit of a, a bad reputation. People say it's a, a hairdresser's car. Well, today we're driving the new Porsche Boxster, the S. And let's be honest, new 3.4 litre engine, 228 kilowatts, and 0.5.9 seconds. Uh, this is the sort of hairdresser's car that I don't know, blast a perm straight. This is an unbelievably <laughs> exciting open top driving experience with heaps and heaps of power. The one we're driving, hang on, let me actually show you, it's actually really cool. It comes with it comes with launch mode, so just, just hang on to your seat. So you keep your foot on the brake, I get this thing revving up to a, a really good speed. And when we're ready to go, the roller coaster just kicks in. It really is amazing. <laughs> It's insane. This car is absolutely amazing. Uh, the steering wheel, I don't know. Steering wheel, what is it for? To steer the car, of course. But these days, steering wheels can, I don't know, connect you to the internet, find out where you are on Google, uh, turn the volume up and down, change channels, and set your cruise control. The Porsche steering wheel has nothing but the wheel and obviously little tiptronic toggles for you to have, uh, have lots of fun in. Basic, simple. From a handling perspective, I love the feel of the wheel. When you put into your sport suspension, uh, the response is unbelievable and um, instills a lot of confidence in you when you're pitching it into uh, some pretty tight bends. And we've been having fun on a windy road and the handling has been supreme. It doesn't have the hard top that you'd have in the Cayman, um, but handling is still incredible. The front end, quite cool. They've actually gone with the, the Porsche Carrera GT look and it looks amazing. So I think it's certainly firmed it up and uh, is going to dispel all those hairdresser rumors that people have had. Backlight's also very, very different. Um, not too much different from a, from a looks point of view, really. It's just more refined, I think. But uh, the engine is phenomenal. 700,000 Rand for the box S. I think that's money really well spent because uh, Wow, you're going to turn a lot of heads. Wherever we've been driving, everybody's been ogling and googling this car. So if you have hair or, or not, this would be a really good car for you to uh, get a sunburn. The striptease happens in around 12 seconds and can be done at speeds of up to 50 k's an hour for the real Porsche poser. It tucks away neatly without compromising your storage space, if that's top of mind. You'll get attached to this little guy here, not that you need to go near it very often, but nice to look at anyway. Bucket seats finish off an all-round simple but sporty interior that keeps you well protected from the whoosh of passing wind when you go topless at top speed. This car has seven gears going forward, 
uh, and with a double clutch it basically changes one, three, five, seven. So if you do go into Tiptronic, you don't even actually know the car's gearing down. So it makes it for way more efficient driving, so your fuel efficiency is improved and uh, the engine performance is just incredible. It's, it's, uh, it's a good experience, man. The sound of this car, I know they put sound systems in and really, you don't want it. I said it with the Cayman S as well. When you hit that sport mode, unbelievable the engine tone, how it changes. And with the roof down, that's the thrill that any guy wants. I'm gonna become a hairdresser if this, if this is a hairdresser car, I'm cutting hair for a living. According to the luxury car maker, more than 66% of all Porsches ever built are still on the roads. No data was given on how many are being driven by true hairdressers and wannabes like Marius. But the new Boxster looks set to add volume to both those figures. Marius, why did you stop? Well, you probably remember earlier we said, I wonder what it would be like to live inside a Porsche Boxster S. Well, uh, let's find out. And that's awesome. I want to be an engine. <laughs> well, they're not in a Porsche Boxster because obviously I, that's in the back. Did I race your motor? You did. Phenomenal feeling, handling, amazing. Mm. Feel every change, change from the Sport to the Sport Plus to the normal normal drive, you can feel the difference in here. So, opinion? I could live in a Boxster S, I could live on a Boxster S, I could live under a Boxster S, yeah, yeah. I could live with a Boxster S, just, I could live... Put a lid on Lindsay Vine. I could be a Boxster S! So much better. <laughs> <laughs>